The situation makes the street buskers feel like they're, you know, Kodiak, Alaskan bears just putting a paw in for the salmon run, okay? And uh, fortunately for the street uh, artists, uh, it's uphill all the way from the cruise ship past, uh, oh, endless uh, jewelry shops up uh, Calle San Francisco. And uh, because it's uphill, uh, by the time the cruise ships uh, folks get up here, they're panting. <laughs> they're perspiring. Uh, muy humido. <laughs> Very humid. Well, fortunately, there's this banyan tree all over the thick side right there, these lovely uh, park benches, and uh, yeah. They're desperate for shade, you know, so they naturally sit down, and uh, when they cool down, <clears throat> oh, surprise, oh, oh two, uh, two, two, two gringo women, well, that one is so big and buffed out, and uh, entertaining them, oh, saxophone, she's, she's uh, playing a languid uh, ballad, and uh, buffed out gypsy tambourinists, huh? Yeah, it just comes up to her chin. Uh, well, uh, and she's playing Exodus. Exodus. Take my hands and walk this land with me. Oh, uh, well, that's when the housewife from Long Island, she nudges her husband. They're playing our song. He grunts. They've been married a long time. Yeah, he did promise her a, a cruise ship uh, before they uh, checked out of the planet. Uh, so here they go. Huh? He's wilted. Well, saxophone, she realizes this gig. This Calle Suave, Easy Street gig. <laughs> Truly sustainable. I mean, like, okay, we're back into La Perla Villa, huh? Done bought my sack case under the floor, huh? What do we get? Well, we get a lot of quarters and lots of, lots of dollar bills. I mean, cool four hours and having fun. We just paid one week's rent in full. Yeah, we got it going on, huh? Well, the banyan tree, uh, it's the center for all the hippie scene in San Juan. And uh, oh, here comes Surf. He's got a surfboard uh, roped up to the top of his uh, VW uh, station wagon and his very beautiful uh, wife, a chick, and their three kids, cute as pie, huh? They all come piling out of the station wagon and. Uh, Oh, he works this uh, cruise ship crowd <laughs> uh, by weaving uh, simple Panama-style hats, but with thick leaves from a palm fronds. And his uh, beautiful uh, uh, partner, <laughs> uh, she weaves uh, small baskets of green bendy palm fronds. Right, and they do it right on the spot. I mean, they're entertaining. And uh, yeah. Uh, well, he lives in Rinca, about 40 miles out of San Juan, and it's on the endless summer. Movie, Endless Summer? W World Surfing Circuit. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, he, so he, he, he drives in and make a few easy bucks, huh? And, uh, well, uh, look, uh, uh, these tourists, they just come from Oklahoma and Nebraska. And they've been in a foreign country for the last 20 minutes. They've risked everything to walk up those three blocks. And, oh, are they happy to see a familiar gringo faces? Oh, just, whew. ooh. Uh, yeah, I mean, surf just relieves them. Oh, they've got too much money. Uh, so, mm-hmm. 
and uh, all playing with the adorable kids. The kids are all over the cruise ship tourists and in their lap and you know, gee gee. One's got a little wooden flute. Uh, you know how adorable. And it's just like oh, just like back in Kansas. Uh, yeah. Uh, and their hair. Oh, the kids' hair. It's like almost white. They're like bleached by. They live on a surfing beach. Okay. All day, 24-7 beach, huh? Well, um, look, surf. I want to reassure you that these hats and these uh, baskets, palm frond baskets, you can just squish them right down in your suitcase. It won't hurt them whatsoever. Well, cruise ships don't dock every day. Some days it's just quiet, huh? Way quiet, huh? Just make a few bucks all morning on those days, huh? Well, on one of those days, um, uh, that's when uh, they met a character that changed their whole life. Lord Tennyson himself. The busking superstar of the entire Caribbean. Yeah, Tennyson, young, flamboyant, uh, natural stand up comedian, so gifted, uh, palm reader, mm -hmm. <laughs> guitar, songwriter. Yeah, South Philly, yeah. He's blissfully been here for three years. No, why go north? Life's so good here. Just keep working it. And uh, he speaks fluent Spanish. He, his Spanish is so good. He writes his jokes in Spanish. He also writes his songs in Spanish. And then he uh, he photocopies the lyrics, hundreds of them, and he gives them out to the audiences that he performs for in Spanish when he busks. And uh, yeah, he's the gringo king of all the freaks in Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands. And uh, he doesn't tell them who he is. He just sits on a park bench and uh, reviews uh, this new act in town. Mm hmm. Oh no. Tennyson sees gold. Whoo! The natural flamboyance and the colossal size. The girth of Sappho. Ah, uh, oh, he realizes. I mean, she could, she could just twiddle her thumbs and uh, hum the ankle duty dandy through a kazoo, and she would attract a huge audience. Huh? Oh yeah. So, uh, hmm. So he self anoints. That means appoints himself as the manager. Of this fantastic, yeah, new novelty act in town. Okay, two two fresh lesbians from the Big Apple, huh? <laughs> how juicy, how yummy is that? All right. Uh, so Tennyson uh, uh, declares, "I am Lord Tennyson." Oh, they've heard of him. Um, look, Sappho, saxophone, okay. Teamed up with me. I'm just saying. As your manager, we can take over the whole Catania Ferry.